Hello everyone, my name is Min, and I will take around 15 minutes to give you a brief overview of my thesis. So what inspired this work is the common everyday scenario of sketching on napkins to record, develop, and communicate ideas. While sketching may seem simple, it is actually an intricate and important activity that supports a wide range of creative tasks. Sketches can be created in situ, where the context and environment stimulate the sketching process to generate ideas, or sketches can be created collaboratively, where the sketches themselves actually serve as a stimulus of the ideation process. In this work, I focus on attempting to capture the essence of traditional 2D sketching in a computer-supported design system, while also trying to extend the capabilities of traditional tools and media. The ability to render and interact with 3D objects is one of the major advantages of computer systems. Traditional 2D sketches are limited in that regard because 2D representations of 3D concepts only show the design from one point of view. And even if multiple sketches of the same concept are created from different viewpoints, they cannot be interactively explored as a whole. While 3D representations can be easily handled by computers, the challenge is that computer-supported modeling tools are typically designed to create precise models based on concrete ideas. This often results in complex interfaces, bottom-up design approaches, and explicit visualizations which can be detrimental to the development of ambiguous ideas in the early design phases. Also, tools such as Maya are often intended to be used by a single user sitting at a desktop computer. This limits the portability of the tool and also affects its ability to support collaboration. In the rest of the presentation, I will describe my 3D design system, Napkin Sketch, which is designed to support the creative exploration of 3D concepts while trying to follow the interaction paradigms of traditional 2D sketching. Napkin Sketch is a portable sketching platform that combines the digital tablet PC sketchpad and physical cardboard napkins. Users can visualize the 3D sketch anchored on top of the napkin through the sketchpad and explore the design space by tangibly moving the sketchpad or napkin relative to each other. The 3D sketching experience of Napkin Sketch resembles that of traditional 2D sketching because users sketch in perspective on the flat surface of the sketchpad. Now I will show you a video of the overall 3D sketching experience, followed by a series of videos outlining the specific features of the system. As you can see in the video, one of the unique features of Napkin Sketch is that you can tangibly and intuitively change the view of the 3D sketch by moving the sketch pad or napkin. This encourages users to actively explore the design space and allows them to critically evaluate the design in 3D. The fluidity of design space exploration is critical because it should not interrupt the creative process of the users while they're sketching. The ability to easily move within the design space fits nicely with the projective 3D sketching technique used by the system. This technique is based on the concept of projecting 2D strokes sketched on a sketch pad onto 3D surfaces or frames as referred to in the thesis. What you see in this video is an example of the one-stroke frame creation technique, which allows users to quickly create and manipulate frames while they are sketching. In this example, the user can easily switch from sketching one side of the house to sketching an adjacent side. It is important to note that frames are not part of the sketch. They're simply implicit structures used to aid the sketching process. 
In the following videos, you will see other techniques for creating, manipulating, and using frames. Because frames are essential to the projective 3D sketching technique, being able to work with them fluidly is also very important. This video shows how previous frames can be quickly selected by simply crossing over strokes that are sketched on that frame. This feature provides the flexibility for users to quickly and easily switch their attention to work on any part of the sketch at any time. To sketch non-planar strokes, this video shows how a simple lofted frame can be created and sketched on. Similar to the creation of plane frames, only one stroke is required but instead of a straight line, a curved stroke is sketched here. This example shows how the lofted frame can be used to sketch a curved leaf. Another type of non-planar frames is the rule frame. Users can create rule frames by simply selecting two existing strokes to create a surface between them. This feature is great for filling in surfaces outlined by strokes or for creating more complex sketching surfaces. The technique to create rule frames can also be used to generate some familiar and common surfaces for sketching. For example, a circle and a point creates a conical surface for sketching. Another useful frame manipulation technique is to temporarily change the view of the frame to remove perspective distortion. In this video, you can see that the virtual design space is temporarily rotated so that the plane frame becomes parallel to the surface of the sketch pad. Notice that the physical napkin can still be used to move the design space, but rotations are not applied. This feature is great for writing text or sketching accurate shapes that are hard to perceive in perspective. The frame selection and frame view switch features reflect on some of the insights gained from two design critiques conducted on the 3D sketching experience of napkin sketch. The important lessons learned include the need to support different workflows while sketching and the need to help users sketch in perspective. Here are some example sketches from the first design critique created by first time users in 15 minute sketching sessions. Overall, these two design critiques were effective in demonstrating napkin sketch's ability to support traditional 2D sketching activities. Another important aspect of traditional 2D sketching is its ability to facilitate social interaction. The co-located collaborative sketching experience of napkin sketch is quite unique. It can be described as a mobile digital tabletop that supports spontaneous ad hoc collaboration. This is because instead of requiring users to interact around a stationary digital tabletop, the portable sketch pads and napkins can be used on any tabletop surface, and the tangible manipulations of the napkins allow most of the collaborative functionalities to be achieved through intuitive physical actions. Also, because each collaborator interacts with his own personal sketch pad around the common design space, it is easy for the system to distinguish between interactions of individual users. This opens the door for exploring concepts such as explicit ownership, privacy, and workspaces. Although the concepts of ownership, privacy, and workspaces can be implicitly facilitated by the spatial organization of collaborators and napkins, they are also explicitly supported by the system to provide extra flexibility and to explore the unique capabilities of napkin sketches interaction approach. For example, in the thesis, I introduced the metaphor of the tablecloth. Its purpose is to establish a physical tabletop surface as a shared workspace where sketches can be combined and reviewed together. In its current implementation, I use a large poster board placed in the center of the table to define the shared workspace, leaving the edges of the table as the personal workspaces for individual collaborators. Following the concepts of shared and personal workspaces, Napkin Sketch also supports private and public privacy settings for individual napkins. 
For example, collaborators can change the settings of their own napkins to private in order to prevent others from seeing what they are sketching. This feature may be important in strategic negotiation scenarios where the timing of when information is shared is critical. In order to facilitate smooth transitions between explicit privacy settings of public and private, privacy control is spatially mapped to the shared and personal workspaces. For example, moving a private napkin from a personal workspace to the shared workspace automatically makes the private napkin public. Other features that leverage spatial manipulations include stamping and copying. The top three images show the process of stamping a sketch from a napkin to this tablecloth by simply placing the napkin in the desired location and triggering the stamping functionality. The bottom two images show the process of copying a sketch onto a new napkin by first placing the new napkin next to the napkin that is to be copied and then triggering the copy functionality. The physical actions involved in these processes not only resemble traditional 2D sketching interaction, but also provide awareness to other collaborators and help to coordinate collaborative tasks. The set of collaborative features in Appkin Sketch were also evaluated in a third design critique. These features, along with the 3D sketching features, form a complete sketching experience that has many of the qualities of traditional 2D sketching. So, to recap, here are the three main contributions of this work. First, I presented a portable sketching platform that makes use of physical media to enable tangible and fluid explorations of 3D sketches. Second, I introduced several features that enhance the projective 3D sketching experience and help to reduce the complexities of 3D sketching while maintaining essential qualities of traditional 2D sketching, such as the support of ambiguity. And finally, I outlined a collaborative sketching environment which makes use of the aforementioned sketching platform and techniques to support the social activities of sketching. Thank you for your attention.